Black Hat, DEF CON, SANS ICS Summit. What are these? What? These are all cybersecurity conferences that you can attend today to gain more information about the latest happenings and the vulnerabilities within the cybersecurity field or even getting involved yourself. Come watch this video so you can learn more and more about this subject matter. And hopefully one day I'll see you at one of these cybersecurity conferences. Okay, come on. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And my name is Gabriel Agbarucci, and I'm gonna welcome you all today. And also, I'm gonna ask you to hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell so you can get more and more of this type of content. And today, we're gonna jump right into it where we're talking about cybersecurity conferences. I mean, one of the best ways to grow your professional network, to grow as a cybersecurity professional by hearing the latest and greatest developments in the field, and also learning overall, right, in the form of trainings and briefing, is attending the cybersecurity conferences. And I'm going to go over what some of those conferences are, the high level ones, how do you get involved and what they're really all about. So let's jump right into it, because I think the best question or the first question that you might have on your mind is why go? Why do you want to go to a cybersecurity conference? Why? I think I spoke a little bit about it before, but it really will help for you to grow in your cybersecurity career and to grow your overall professional network. Many times within cybersecurity, many people are having issues getting into the field, getting into what they want to do within cybersecurity. And many times conferences can be that spark that brings you right into the field because you might be able to meet your next hiring manager, your next coworker, your next chief information security officer at a cybersecurity conference. So that's one reason to go is that you might meet the people that you might work for in the future. And it might help you to kind of skip the line a bit in the form of applying for job roles because you'll know the people directly by going to these conferences. Many cybersecurity conferences aren't only presentations, you're not only meeting people, but you are also given the opportunity to learn and be able to go through different training. Many of these conferences have trainings that go over things like how to hack Linux operating systems, performing digital forensics on Android phones and mobile devices, the latest and greatest information about network architecture and design. I mean, all the buzz in cybersecurity right now is on something called ZTA or Zero Trust Architecture. At some of these conferences, the people who have written documentation, written books about Zero Trust Architecture might be there, right? You might be able to meet them and be able to gain an in-depth understanding of the subject matter. I mean, you might even be able to go over threat intelligence overviews, things about the latest incidents that have happened, and overall other things like physical penetration testing, right? Things that you might not have ever thought of before. And another reason why you might want to go is because of the people like I mentioned. So people, training, learning, and just overall growing your cybersecurity professional network and experience. Those are some reasons why you might want to go to cybersecurity conferences. The next one we're going to go into is that which ones to go to, right? There's many, I, I swear that there probably are probably hundreds and thousands of cybersecurity conferences that occur every single day all around the world. But let me tell you about some of the top ones, some of the best well-known ones. And we're going to have to start off with DEF CON. DEF CON started in 1993, where back during that time, individuals communicated on things called BBSs or uh, bulletin board systems. These are just online forums where individuals with like minds and like interests will come together to have conversations about these different subjects. This BBS was specifically called the Platinum Net, and it was out of Canada. And these are were hackers, right? People who were interested in hacking and the subject of information security. Pretty much this initial meetup, right, for DEF CON was purposed to be more of a goodbye because that BBS was shutting down. What happened was, is that it was so successful that they decided to meet every single year. And now we are on DEF CON 30. 30 years later, DEF CON is still going and probably one of the most popular and probably one of the popular, the most popular cybersecurity conference today in the US. And really individuals from all over the world come to this conference, DEF CON. And one thing that happens at DEF CON is many people who attend, they say do not bring your phones, your digital devices, your work computers because there's a lot of hackers there, right? People from all walks, walks of the world, you know, there's different types of hackers. There's these white hat hackers, which are considered ethical. There's gray hat, where they kind of lean between ethical and non-ethical, and you have black hat folk, right? You might run into all three of these categorizations of hackers there at the conference. So you have to be careful and be wary, but it'll be an amazing experience if you go. The second one that I want to talk about is black hat. Black hat is considered the younger, and more professional type of conference in comparison to DEF CON. Uh, Black Hat started in 1997, and just like I mentioned, it's a version of DEF CON, but it's a bit more professional. This is where you might wear business casual clothing. This is a place where you might be able to go to a job fair or people are hiring there. It's a bit more professional and more formal. I wouldn't say super formal, but more formal than that of a DEF CON. 
And they are very well known for their black hat briefings, which are the latest and greatest security research and white papers and information um, in the field of cybersecurity and also their trainings. They offer a plethora of trainings for so many different subjects, as I was mentioning before. So that is Black Hat. Another one that I want to talk about is the SANS Summit. So SANS is a training organization where they do many cybersecurity trainings and they do these summits also. And these summits cover many different subjects like industrial control systems, digital forensics and incident response, blockchain cybersecurity, and things for people who are brand new to cybersecurity. They have a conference called New to Cyber. That's one of the SANS summits. And also I've spoken at these, so I'm gonna have some of my links and everything that you all can come to. I've spoken at the SANS Oil and Gas Summit, the Industrial Control System Summit, the New to Cyber Summit, the Summer Cyber. I've spoken at many of these, so I do want you all to check out the SANS Summit, which is another version of the cybersecurity conferences that I believe many of you will be able to enjoy. And they also come with training, but they come at a cost. Money. So I'm gonna have all that information in the description section for you to check out. Another one is B-Sides. B-Sides, you can think of it like a TED Talk um, type of conference, but more of like the TEDx's. So, you know, TED Talks is a very large conference, a, a very large conference that happens one time a year. But these TEDx's happen in all cities all across the world. B-Sides is very similar. Initially, B-Sides was thought of to be kind of the rejected papers from DEF CON and Black Cat, but really they've turned it to something very valuable to different communities. So if you're looking at mainly growing your regional cybersecurity community and professional network, B-Sides is for you. So specifically, I'm out here in Detroit and there's a conference every single year called B-Sides De Detroit. If you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, B-Sides Charlotte. Or if you're in Texas, B-Sides Houston or B-Sides Dallas. That's what you'll look for for a B-Sides conference. And again, it will help you grow more of your local cybersecurity community and professional network. The last one that I want to talk about is very much so focused on the area that I'm in is S4. S4 is probably the most well-known industrial cybersecurity conference that you can think of in the world. People, again, come from all over the world talking about many of these different incidents, many different research and innovations that have happened within industrial cybersecurity. When I say industrial cybersecurity, I'm talking cybersecurity in environments like nuclear plants, oil and gas facilities, utility organizations, the electrical grid, you name it, S4 focuses on cybersecurity for those type of industrial environments. So those are the conferences, but, and I wanna leave you with one more question. I wanna leave you with one more answer to this question of how do you get involved? I think one, you can attend in person. I'll have all of the links down in the description section and you can look at when the next conference is, right? I'll have things on DEF CON, uh, links on Black Hat and S4 and all those. You pretty much look at the date, you look at what it means, organize the logistics around you attending and you just go. You just go and attend, pick tracks, pick different talks, pick different trainings and you can attend. So that's one way you can get involved in these cybersecurity conferences. The next way is that you can attend virtually. Ever since the pandemic, many of these conferences have offered a virtual attendance option. So many of those websites that I'll have in the description section will give you um, information there is a virtual option for attending. Of course, you don't get the face-to-face, -face, in-person type of interaction with people, but you can connect with people on LinkedIn. You can reach out to the speakers and the presenters. You can download different slide decks and the research behind some of these talks. So you still get a version of that conference experience, even virtually and from the comfort of your own home. That's another way that you can be, get involved. And I think the third way, that I think is a great way is that you can speak yourself. You can contribute to the conference. So these conferences have things called CFPs or call for presentations or call for papers where you all you really need is an idea and a willingness to speak in order to get involved. You don't need to be a 20 plus year cybersecurity subject matter expert in order to speak at these conferences. Again, like I mentioned, an idea and a willingness. So you submit and then there typically is some type of board that evaluates your submission. It's just typically like a small little paragraph describing what you'll be talking about. And they'll, and they'll decide if they want to add your talk to the conference. I mean, I've been rejected many times with uh, for conferences that I wanted to speak at. And I think that as I continued and continued, continued to, uh, to apply, I've, I've, I've spoken at many conferences. I mean, I'm probably like 10 or 15 conferences in now, really after initially being rejected for several of my first ones. So even if you don't get your first one, when you apply to a conference, I say keep applying and applying. And these CFPs have dates and they have times that you need to submit. So take a look at these descriptions and these links down in, in the description section for you to get more information about how you can be a speaker at one of these conferences. So hopefully this has been valuable to you. We went over several different cybersecurity conferences and I want you to get involved. Go and attend one in person, attend one virtually, and even speak at one if you have an idea and a willingness to get involved. 
Hopefully this has been valuable to you. And again, this is Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell to get more and more of this type of content. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks.